Hey fishing friends, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. Hey, in this episode, I'm just gonna be sharing with you the three type lures that I have caught the majority of my fish on in Southwest Florida saltwater fishing over the course of a year of starting this channel. This is gonna be good, so stick around. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Rad Reeling Fishing. Hey, listen guys, I, I got this little thing hanging on back here that I wanted to, wanted to show you. Just trying to make my, my set look a little bit more sportsman-like, right? Hey, this, this is uh, one of my gigantic deer kills from like many, many, many years ago. And uh, I just had this thing stuffed away in the closet. Thought I'd just pull it out for fun. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but hey, anyway, there was a time in my life when I actually was a taxidermist. I had taxidermy work for about, I don't know, three years. And I had a studio. I worked out of my home and I had a wall that was just full of deer heads and big amber jack and snook and flounder and bobcat mounts and just all kinds of stuff. Would have been the perfect setting for this type of channel. But uh, yeah, you know what? A few years have passed since then. But anyway, today I want to share with you guys the three main lures that over the past year since I started this channel that I have caught the majority of saltwater fish in Southwest Florida on from shore uh, or wade fishing in this area. Now, right now we've got red tide in our area and guys, I am so bummed out about that almost to the point of like being depressed because I love to saltwater fish and that the water from my house is like 10 to 15 minutes away. And uh, you know, that's what has just made it so great making all these videos because I, I can just hop in my car and I'm fishing in 10 minutes. A little more difficult now to uh, saltwater fish, but you know what? I've been living here a long time and things will eventually get better. And the fishing will return to being outstanding because Florida is the fishing capital of the world. But let's get on with these videos. Now, throughout this video up here, I'm gonna just keep putting links in there to other videos where you'll actually be able to see me catching fish on these different lures. And uh, I just don't really care for when I see YouTube videos where people talk about how outstanding a fishing lure is, or this is a particular lure for this particular fish, and then they don't have any videos out there that actually show them catching fish with those lures. So um, this channel and this video, you guys, I've got plenty of footage catching fish on these lures I'm gonna to talk to you or share with you today. All right, let's go with this first type of lure here. This is your Rapala x wrap These are the, the lipped minnow type lures. That they're kind of like floaters, but when you, you, you reel them in or you pull them, they dive. So I've got the Rapala x wrap I've got the, woo, come on, get off of there. The Rebel Broken Back Minnow. It's got that little lip on it. And I've got the Yozuri Minnow here. Now, on the Rapala x wrap and the Yozuri Minnow, I have caught the most fish on this color right here. The one that has the gold, the dark green, the light green, the olive, and the uh, silver mixed in with it. That's, that's the color on, on these two lures. And I prefer to use the Yozuri over the Rapala. And the reason is, is because the Yozuri seems to have more action to it. And also it dives a little bit deeper so I can cover more of the water column. Now, whenever you're fishing with this type of bait, okay, if you hold your rod tip like down close to the water, you'll see that in a lot of my videos fishing around seawalls. I hold that rod tip right down to the water and that just causes that bait to dive as deep as it possibly can. And then I, at other times, like when I'm fishing this bait across flats, um, I'll hold the rod tip up high and that'll cause that bait to stay up on the surface and just go down six to eight inches below the surface because you're fishing it in shallower water. And uh, yeah, guys, I have caught, you, you'll see in the videos, I've caught ladyfish on these, I've caught jacks on these, I've caught snook on these, I've caught grouper on these, flounder, um, mangrove snapper, to my surprise. <laughs> yeah, a lot of different fish um, species have been caught on these and these are just, Absolutely outstanding. It's my first choice of a lure whenever I go down to a bridge early, early, early in the morning and I cast around the seawalls and the pilings and underneath the bridges. 
the uh, Yozuri and the Rapala X-Wrap, those are my first choices for lures. And uh, of course, I always put on the broken back too whenever things get tough or I just to switch it up a little bit to try something different. So um, yeah, guys, you're gonna see, I catch a lot of fish on those. Now my next lure that I had caught a majority of fish on this year on my channel is gonna be the, the uh, paddle tail, this, the little paddle tail with the jig head. These are the ones where you purchase the jig heads completely separate from the paddle tails. And uh, these guys right here come in a lot of different colors, sizes, and shapes. But a lot of my fishing videos down around the jetties and also when I was wading, catching bluefish wading, I was catching them on these. And around the jetties, I was catching the Spanish mackerel on these. Now I've caught snook on these, Spanish mackerel, ladyfish, bluefish, and I even caught some uh, grouper, one or two grouper on these guys. But yeah, these are, these are just great all around baits because they just mimic a, a small minnow. And you can fish these in, in any depth of the water column. Like when I was fishing at the jetties and I was catching Spanish mackerel, I made the Spanish mackerel video where I included tips in that video and I was catching Spanish mackerel and they stopped kind of biting. You can watch that in the video, but they, they stopped biting and um, I had been just casting it out and letting it sink for about two or three seconds and then I was jerking it and reeling, jerking it and reeling and the fish stopped biting. So then I let it sink all the way to the bottom and I started just kind of bouncing it way, way down deep and I started catching Spanish mackerel again. So yeah, that lure is just great because it covers a lot of different depths in the water column. So uh, yeah, you, you gotta have some of those. So listen guys, three lures, and actually you could just narrow it down to these two lures if you don't uh, snook fish at night. Um, but this third lure is for snook fishing at night and you guys that have been watching my channel, you know what this is. This is the, uh, these, these are the jigs, man, right here. And uh, the brand, the brand that I like to use are the First Light jigs. And you just get them in a lot of different colors. I caught a lot of snook on this particular color combination right here, First Light. This is a two ounce jig, but they make, they make these in a lot of different sizes. And uh, yeah, these, these are awesome. If, if you get into a place where there's a lot of snook, in the snooker biting, you're going to catch them on these jigs. Uh, of all of these lures, okay, um, I spent a lot of money fishing with these because what happens with these guys is you're, I cast them around bridges and uh, they, they smack up against the pilings. I mean, I'm a great angler and I can cast really good, but inevitably you hit these things up against, against the pilings two or three times and you're at risk of, of breaking the lip or the other thing that happens, and you can actually see it, on this one right here, that back hook uh, where it attaches on the wire gets bent out of shape and then the, uh, the lure doesn't run straight. And yeah, so of the lures, I would say the amount of money lost in lures over, a, over the past year, the highest amount would be with the jigs because you're bouncing these things along the bottom and uh, they're just constantly getting hooked up on pilings and rocks and structure because that's where the snook are hanging out at and you lose them. But these guys right here catch the heck out of snook if you can find the snook in the structure. This would be the, uh, the, the second most expensive loss that I've had is the Yozuri minnows and the Rapala X wraps just due to what I just said, fishing with these guys around structure. And then uh, the paddle tail swim baits these guys right here come in third. So let me not get off on a rabbit trail because I, I was talking about, about these jigs. And uh, what's great about fishing with these jigs is, is they're heavy. Now you, you need to have a rod that will handle, you know, an ounce and a half to a two ounce weighted jig. And uh, recently, like in a video that I just made yesterday, I was showing you guys a jig fishing rod setup that I actually put together for snook fishing. And uh, yeah, that musky, seven and a half foot long musky rod, it's rated for a four ounce lure. And uh, the largest one that I ever throw in these jigs is two ounces. But yeah, you can throw these things with the right setup with braid line. Um, I throw these things a hundred yards, maybe even 
more if the wind um, is in my favor. And if I have a really good long rod, my eight foot long rod with 30 pound test braid on it and an 80 pound test monofilament leader and a two ounce jig, I can rear back and I can heave that thing and let it fly probably 100 yards um, without a problem. So, and that's a long ways, guys. 100 yards is a football field. But, you know, I'm really bummed about the red tide, guys. I'm kind of like depressed because I, you know, I just can't get in the car and, and go out there and go saltwater fishing. I'd much rather do saltwater fishing videos than freshwater videos. Thank God for Jetty Rocks Mike D like like rescuing me and inviting me to come over to the East Coast and fish with him. I had a great time doing that and it made some wonderful videos of catching Red Snapper and Kobe and sharks over there. And uh, yeah, he's actually invited me to go back when the big bull reds start running over there. And uh, yeah, so that's coming up soon. I'm looking forward to that. I'm trying to work out some stuff, maybe heading to North Florida to do some fishing. And uh, there are also some locations that are about an hour from here that I can probably get into some good saltwater fishing. It's just I'm unfamiliar with the area, so I might need to see about trying to connect with some uh, YouTubers that uh, make videos up in that area and see if we can do some collaborations. Maybe they can put me on some fish there. Well, hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this video just kind of featuring my favorite lures, the best lures, the top lures for fishing in Southwest Florida, shore fishing around bridges and seawalls and, and stuff like that and saltwater. And uh, yeah, I wanted to just kind of put this together for you guys since uh, I can't actually get out there and do a whole lot of fishing with these lures right now. But make sure that you check out these links that I put up here to these videos because there's lots of fish catching action going on using all these lures that I have presented today. You guys, I reached 5,000 subscribers very, very soon and I'm excited about about that. Thanks for sticking around and hanging with me through this difficult time with the red tide to be in around. Hey, and I also wanted to tell you guys, I started a Patreon page. So if you guys want to help me out with these fishing adventures and expenses, um, at the end of this video, there's always a little link there. You can click on that, head over to Patreon and uh, yeah, check out that opportunity that I'm giving you guys to help out. I know it's your hard earned money and uh, yeah, I'd appreciate every little bit of help, help that I can get here, guys. It takes a lot to make these videos and I want to keep making them and I'm having fun making them, but uh, you understand there's expenses involved in doing that as well. So, all right. Thumbs up or appreciate it. Get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. You got to live it. See ya.